Hi, my name is Leila and this is Rhys. Welcome to our school, Holy Trinity, where we care a lot about the well-being of our students. We do a lot of activities and have a lot of amenities and resources in our school. Come and I'll show you. This is our well-being wall. During well-being week, we discussed a few ways to turn a bad day into a good one, such as doing meditation, baking a cake, making a storybook, and playing with friends. Have a look. This is our centre room. It's a place of comfort and relaxation where our pupils can come and chill out if need be. In our school we have a wall of achievement celebrating the achievements of all of our students across a wide range of activities such as GAA, boxing, basketball, crochet, swimming, yoga and many more. many resources that can help the healthy well-being of our students. It is a ball pool that students can use whenever they feel they need to. In our school we do a lot of music such as guitar, violin and other instruments. In Holy Trinity, we do lots of meditation for our well-being. Here's Miss Wood's class doing some right now. We asked some of our pupils about what they think of well-being and here are their answers. What do you think well-being is all about? Um, I think well-being is all about your emotions and like how you act in certain ways. Uh, I have CF so it's a lot to me. CF is short for cystic fibrosis which I have. There's much worse cases but I have a really good case of it. People being happy and feeling safe on the inside. Uh, I think Robin is all about having fun and being healthy. Having good mental health and making sure others around you are happy. Uh, I think it's about if uh, you feel good about yourself and your mental health is good. If you could describe what well-being looks like, what would you imagine? A person eating a red apple. A person where like peace will look kind of like maybe a field at like you know sunflowers or maybe like the beach. The happiest place on earth where everyone's playful, nice and kind. What can you do to feel better when you're having a bad day? Eat crunchy nut cereal and watch YouTube. Eat crunchy nut cereal. It's the best cereal ever. I would probably, I uh, just like, uh, I love playing football. I take a few minutes to myself, relax, get my breath back, think and then just do something that makes me happy that I enjoy. I go over to my mum and tell her that I'm not having such as a good day and she just tell me how to help, how to like make myself feel better. I go upstairs to my bedroom and I I could play my Xbox. Um, well, I go to my mum and get a hug off my mum. Best thing in the world. She gives me money to go to school and then on the way back I just get stuff in the shop and then I go home and then we all like and then we watch a movie and then we do it in my homework. I front breakfast and I just try to get over it. I, if I had a bad day I'd just probably tell my mum or anybody just so I could get off my mind. If I'm having a bad day, I'd usually play a board game with my mum or a game of cards or walk my dog. I just go tell my mum and then I just go up to my room and I squeeze my fists and take a deep breath in and out. And well, I go to my teddy blueberry and I tell her all the good things and bad things. When I go to my bedroom and have some me time for like an hour or 25 minutes, even. 
uh, you could talk to your friend and get out of your system. In Holy Trinity, would you agree that we have like a positive kind of atmosphere in school? Yeah. What do you yeah. think that contributes to, to it? All the kids playing football in the yard and just more freedom than other yeah. schools. Where like in school and school, you're not allowed to run or like have a football out in the yard. But having fun stuff to do on the yard. We have loads of fun activities and the ball club. I think it's just like the teachers are like really good and they're really happy all the time. And they want everyone so loving. Like they really is kind and if you're having a bad day, they all ask you what's wrong, no matter what. I like coming to school here because there's always fun stuff going on. All the teachers are really nice. The kids are really nice. And when I'm coming to school in the morning, I like. Uh, Go and do a maths in the morning and seeing my maths teacher. Because we're gonna get the needs boxes. They're boxes that um, if you have a question and you don't want anyone else to hear while you're telling the teacher, you just put it in the box. We do golden time where we get to watch a movie for like a, we have a cup of kindness and whoever does anything nice, we put a star on it and that means five minutes for the movie. What makes you feel safe? Um, when I'm tucked up in my bed and wrapped in my blanket and like my head's just under but my face is popping out. Uh, my friends in school and the teachers and my family and stuff. Oh, well, sometimes and my dad's and we're like watch and like a movie or something. Are there any telltale signs of someone in school who might not have a good mental health there? Maybe if people are, are acting different to other people or if they're not talking. Well, if they're not talking or if they're just by themselves most of the time and they don't really interact with people. Yeah, if they're like, sitting by themselves in the yard or if they're very quiet and they don't want to take part in the to sing to everyone. What could you do to maybe support them so that they could have a better, maybe, better day? I could like play with them or I could ask them what's wrong if they don't want to tell me. I don't have to force them. Uh, go over to them and tell them to focus on the positive side. Talk to someone and uh, make sure they're okay and say if they're like by themselves every time, you can go over and like, sit with them and talk to them. That's it from us. We hope you enjoyed our video. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.